Hello, today is January 16th, 2016. Wizards leaked the ban list for the season. And in modern, it is Summer Bloom and Splinter Twin. I own both Amulet Bloom and Splinter Twin decks. This reminds me a little bit of the reserve list as far as the trust issue goes. The collectors and people who invest in magic cards, who, or who have invested in magic cards, wizards won't touch the reserve list. No, we can't do that. We can't go back on our word. If we print those, those cards on the reserve list, it'll tank the value, we'll lose all our credibility, yada, yada, yada. Well, what about your credibility when it comes to Modern Masters? And what you just printed six months ago? Splinter Twin was in that. So when you print a card and then immediately ban it, and it's not a new card, it's not like a new set, it's not like Tolarian Academy, like, whoops. It's Splinter Twin, it has been around a while. Why now? Why did you decide this? Well, your reasoning is because it is winning too much. It represents too much of the field. There's not enough diversity. But when I go to modern tournaments, and I go to a lot of them, I see loads of decks. I see Hate Bearers. I see Mardu. We had Infect, Tron, Affinity, in um, the new Eldrazi deck. And we also had Amulet Bloom. I mean, I see combos, Bristle Brand, which is, you know, Instant Reanimator, of course. I could sit here and list decks for days. Collected Company, you see a lot of that. Why did Splinter Twin get the Eye of Sauron, you know? Why? There's so many decks to choose from. There's Lantern Control, okay? I mean, you show up to a tournament and you will play a wide berth of decks. You're not going to play Splinter Twin all day long. When I went to the IQ in Columbia, I had the privilege of going, I even top eight it. In the top eight, there were two Splinter Twin decks. However, let me put it this way. When I showed up, everyone was making their deck list. All I could see was Twin everywhere. Does that mean it should be banned? No, I don't think so. People wanted to play it. But does that mean it's broken? No. Yes, two of them made the top eight, but look at how many were there. Twin's not overpowered, it's not broken, it doesn't break the turn four rule. I mean, Grizzlebrand will win on turn one with the right hand, and it still can, and they didn't touch it. I own that deck too as well, so please don't, Watsy, if you are paying attention at all. So, when I refer to the meta, I think really what's important is understanding what's out there. I didn't sideboard heavily against Instant Reanimator, for example, because it made up less than 1% of the field. I had four rending volleys on my sideboard. The fact is, I was prepared for the meta, and it paid off, okay? Splinter Twin is not that hard to be prepared for. Every color has something it can do against it. Black has a discard, Thoughtseize, okay? White has Path to Exile. Blue, you can counter the thing, or Bounce and Response. Red, Rending Volley, one of the best things. Green, Nature's Claims, or among many other things. There's even split second cards. Trojan Grip. What are they going to do against that? Okay. So then, their Splinter Twin deck, once you're prepared for it, turns into just a bad aggro burn deck? Wasn't even that broken. And guess what? Wizards banned it. Yes, it placed in a lot of things. Yes, it won some stuff. A lot of stuff. But you had so many people playing it, it's going to win. Okay? It's not out there because it is a bad deck. It just wasn't broken. All those people that were playing Splinter Twin, the ones that don't quit, well, they are going to have to find something else to play. And they like those tricky little combo decks. I don't know, maybe Instant Reanimator will get a bump, but that's kind of expensive to build. And if you just got burned by Wizard's Ban List, you might not want to go that route. And really what it comes down to is this. Is Modern a format that you can afford to invest in when if your deck is just simply played a lot? wins too many tournaments, they ban it. Mind you, not broken, just prevalent. Banning Cloud of Fairies, by the way, in Popper, that's okay. Popper decks are cheap, 30 bucks. I mean, if you build the burn one and have your chain lightnings, then you're looking at over 100, but uh, the point is most Popper decks are 30, 40 bucks max. You ban a key card in a modern deck, throughout a thousand. 
I mean, they're spending their hard-earned money for a game they love. They invested in those decks because they believed of the whole modern ideal, which is you build your deck, it's good forever, unless the ban hammer comes along. And that's the sad thing. That goes away from what modern is supposed to be. Modern is supposed to be, I build my deck, it doesn't roll out. There was a joke in Cardboard Crack about today I was reading um, one of the comics they put out about the guy says I didn't do too well in a tournament today on purpose because I don't want my deck to do too good. I don't want it to get banned. I don't want it to get banned. With standard, that's the deal. You pay X amount, you know the cards are going to be good till this long. That's not the deal with modern. You pay for your deck, you have your deck. Wizard shouldn't be able to come along and just whack it. I have two decks sitting right here that I spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars for. There's over a thousand dollars of cards there. So you can play with more Zuzas. They slowed it down. Yes, you can play with Kiki Jiki. But are you going to be able to have the, the Teamer version when you're playing a triple red creature? I guess you can with all the shocks, but then you're taking a lot of damage and all the fetches. When you have Eldrazi beating on you, stealing your lands with Oblivion Sowers spinning off the top of your deck. I mean, look at the format. Just be prepared for your meta. That's all that anyone really needs to do. And on top of it, players weren't asking for this. Players didn't say, hey wizards, we're really upset about this. Twin is prevalent everywhere. No. No. I personally loved when I played against the Twin deck because I played against them very well. I knew how to play against them and I would normally come out on top. So, now that they're gone, those people will be playing a different deck. It might be a worse matchup for me. That kind of stinks, doesn't it? I was actually irritated that it took one of, in my opinion, the weaker decks out against me. Now, sure, I have a lot more sideboard slots, but I'm going to need them because there's not going to be those twin decks out there to just roll over. Tron had a lot of answers. Spellskite's main deck, Nature's Claims, and Rending Volleys in the board. It was a beautiful thing.